Hi everyone, welcome to Monktoberfest, the Red Monk Brew. Uh, we're here in Portland, Maine, and with me I have Greg Avola. Greg is from Untapped, as you can see from the t-shirt. Uh, Greg, who and what are Untapped? Untapped is basically a cho- social check-in application. It's basically the four square for beer. So it allows you to check in the beers and the locations, explore new tastes, new venues, new opportunities to try different beers you have. Plus has a little gamification in there, so you can earn badges on your way to beer glory, for lack of a better word. So. <laughs> beer glory, I love it, I love it. Of course, we're all big beer drinkers. Yes, we are. Uh, but why would anyone want to check into beer? Well, there's a couple of reasons. One is sometimes you have the same choices everywhere you go, and the app can recommend based on what your tastes are that you've always had. It also allows you to keep track of what beer you've had in the past. So in case you remember, you want to remember what beer you had a month ago or two months ago that was very good, but you can't remember what that name was, the app will allow you to check in as well. It also keeps a kind of a journal of what you've had over the past two or three months so you can say that you went on vacation which could be good or bad yeah exactly (laughs) they went on vacation and you say i went to california what california beers should i have that maybe not be available where i am right now so it's a lot of aspects to it but you know there are different types of users and we find that people want to either catalog their beer use it to try new beers or try a new venue and beer at the same time Okay, and you mentioned the gamification. Can you talk a bit about that? Yeah, it's uh, just like uh, Foursquare, we have badges that allow you to, to check into certain beers, and then you're awarded a badge for doing that particular activity. And we work with brewers and also have badges that allow you basically to go outside your realm of tastes and, and try something different to see if you would willing to try that for a badge. So we've done some deals with Dogfish Head for their Ancient Ale series. We did a badge with them. Uh, we have regular badges that celebrate drinking a certain number of distinct beers, so trying different beers. So uh, we have a 10, 25, 100. We have a 500 badge, which has been earned, believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of other ones just kind of add a little fun to, to drinking, not almost like a game, but just more of a kind of exploring your taste, trying different things and that kind of thing. Okay, and how many beers are in the database? We have about 80,000 beers in the database. Uh, we have 5,000 that were generated when we first started the application almost a year ago in October of 2010, and, they, and the rest have been created by users. So it just shows a lot of people, are, beers are being created every day, uh, and uh, those, are, those kind of activities are really interesting to see how beers are created. Okay, and you recently launched uh, apps, because it was, it was all done through the, the browser interface up right. to now. You recently launched apps for the iPhone and Android? Yes, that's correct. They're in the App Store right now, and they, uh, they're downloadable. Uh, they have a lot more features, including the ability to tag photos now with the actual beer you're drinking, and also uh, it's a little bit faster, faster loading. The web only gets you so far, and we wanted to, to take it to the next level, and these Android and iPhone apps, we feel like that they, they've done that. Okay. How many users do you have? around 70,000 users currently right now. Um, it kind of fluctuates from time to time. Um, we're around 2.2, 2.5 million check-ins so far in the system. Okay, and is there a revenue model? Well, there's a little bit of revenue model. I mean, uh, most of it, they always say it's a little secretive, but at the same time, I think that the information we provide and the ability for brewers to connect with the, the users is, is, a, is a really important feature. In the U.S., there's a three-tier system with brewery distributors and the actual consumer. We feel that on tap about the consumer and the brewers to connect on a better level, so eventually that could be a possible uh, business model. But so far, it's, it's, it is what it is. I'm really happy with the product so far and how, how it's going on. Fantastic. Greg, thanks a million for coming on the show. No problem. Thank you. Cool.